Alright guys, in today's video, what I am going to be talking about, I, I'll be drawing these two heads, basically I will be studying in them. So I'm going to talk about my process and how I go about everything, alright? So stay tuned. I have a reference I'm looking up on my phone, so if you care to join. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be talking about studying art or rather studying whatever aspect of art it is. So in this case I'm where I am studying the head figure. So what I am doing basically is demystifying and deconstructing the process and all but first you have to know the basics you gotta know the basics of the head you gotta know that you need to draw a circle put a line put the ear put stuff you you, you need to know your fundamentals so so that you can study study efficiently so so that's that's basically the the, the point all right so this head here is facing here so you know, I, you can see it pretty much so I'll be doing the narration what I am doing is setting up every landmark that I am seeing according to the fundamentals that are in my head not worrying if it looks like the 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 actual image so and another good thing to always do is think form instead of uh, think form when starting instead of uh, cynics calls it iconizing sorry I spelled that wrongly iconizing so you instead of drawing a nurse this way uh, this way and showing that it's a nose you, you you see some people go ahead to do stuff like na 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 that's not it so what i'm doing here is iconizing yeah we know that the nose goes way up but you don't need to show that you, you need to show the form so you think 3d all right so from there his mouth so instead of me going in and putting every single detail i see on his mouth i'm actually avoiding that and thinking form all right so that's basically it then his ass so still thinking form and everything we'll, we'll rather focus on what is what is called minimal lighting so so that that subtle lighting that goes on in the eye do stuff like that yeah you just get it don't bother about getting this right remember you using your fundamentals to work yeah, you're not doing some sort of realistic art so by the way his eyes are, are focused this way so we use we, we were sealed down with the minimal lighting and yeah we're, we're drawing what we see and with this process i think you, you once you get to do a couple of this maybe a hundred or two hundred you you'll be able to tackle drawing heads on your own and you you see a lot of improvement all right so that's i'm basically walking through the fundamentals in my head and going through that Okay. All right. 
just gonna be silent for a while and try to get this right. Alright, so what is he wearing? So in a case where uh, you don't know the fundamentals, yeah, I'll suggest you get a couple of ana anatomy books and, and, you know, just study them. I'll recommend Loomis, Andrew, Andrew Loomis. He does a great job. And um, Michael Hampton, though. So, yeah. Michael Hampton, that's... Michael Hampton is a good one. It's a good one. So, try to add some shadows here. See what I can go around with. Like, uh, all right. So the, the, there is like no limit to to whatever you can do here. You're not restricted to anything. The only thing you 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 have to make sure you're doing right is that you're following the rules except you're doing some kind of stylized art before you know you're you you don't want to follow the rules of okay you already know the rules and you're purposely breaking them so that, that that's 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 it all right so it's all about um demystifying and deconstructing according to uh, Evan Amundsen it's, it's the way to, to, to study right alright just go ahead and answer my friend here Uh, so this was basically a, a, a guy in some weird costume I might as well mark the shape of that costume I ran up through his nose and stuff So the rest of the place was pretty much dark. And so I tried to add some value there. So, with this kind of practice, I could tell you next time I want to draw a head, stuff like this would just be resonating in my head and, you know, like I said, we all learning, so, you just got to give it the, the practice time. So, we go in retouching stuff. Making stuff look cool because it is art and we have to make it look cool. Okay, okay, okay. So, I just go ahead and try to complete stuff here. All right, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna speed this one up. So I'm, I'm not gonna talk again.
All right, so we're done with that particular hit. So we'll move on to the next one. Okay, might as well turn out this late. Open a new one. All right, so back to our fundamentals again. me I what another tip I like to share is I, I take I start off from the eye check the angle in which the eye is inclined and that's pretty much it for me once I get that correct thing there everything is the rest is figured out Okay, so he's on beard, so we'll have to just increase that. No problems. So you can see that once you pretty much get the position of the positioning of the eye, it's pretty much everything. So you 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 good, like you good. So from there. I start off detailing so what this what good this does is it gives you um like it gives you uh, like it helps you build your visual library as you go along you if, if you draw a ton of them ton of faces like hundred the two hundred you you give yourself that challenge and go ahead and do them you can you can always you will see improvement no you can always see improvement you you will always see improvement because your visual library is gonna expand and a lot a lot it's gonna happen a lot you 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 enjoy the improvement and you'll be happy so I guess that's it just gotta stick with it it doesn't have to look good that's even that's something I even had to struggle with about it looking good because I really always w worried about what what I was gonna post so I just came to the, I just revolved or resolved to posting whatever I, I come up with. It doesn't have to be accurate also. You're just starting heads. You're not doing realistic drawing like I said earlier. So you're still thinking for them and be aware of your fundamentals and, and stuff. All right. So it guides you. It guides you while you draw, alright? Yeah, yeah, so that that's that's it. Nothing much, you just go on Pinterest, download a couple of images, you just go ahead and draw, bruh. Draw a lot, just draw a lot of those images, draw a lot of them. I just draw a lot of them. Alright. So. You take your time, you take your time. You don't need to rush here. Since you are studying, this is no commission. And and if you can't deal with social media pressure, just resolve to not posting like 
keep your work off social media if you're not good with the pressure because one thing about the pressure is that once you start posting and get critiques either you get critiques or you get so much love and support you start losing your head yeah i'm saying this out of experience it might not happen to some of you but it happened to me i'm being honest here so like i lost control like you, you when you sit down to practice uh you 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 always want to do stuff that is awesome you, you don't you don't you're very cautious of not doing ugly stuff like if you if you do a study and it doesn't look good all you're thinking about while studying is whoa you're you're, you're gonna post it and it doesn't help like it doesn't help just doesn't help like yeah just doesn't help and in it never is gonna help instead you just gonna get tired of studying after a while because you'll be frustrated when you can't you're supposed to be studying something and getting the most out of it but you're you're being concerned about about uh, uh well, <laughs> about how good looking it is is supposed to be it's not supposed to be like that all right so you might want to reconsider your choices when you're <laughs> it's it's hard you know it's hard and it doesn't do we artists any good for real doesn't do us any good instead it takes a lot away from us okay so how are we doing on this guy yeah personally I love three over four drawings so uh, four pictures sorry the uh, three qua quarter view because of the interesting angles he has contours and stuff so enjoy drawing stuff like this so that's gonna be it so I'm just gonna do only two of these heads and I'll do the rest of them while I yeah because I need to reduce the size it takes forever to render all right and also if you take your time in doing this you you, you could see great outcomes I promise because it's nothing as rewarding as taking your time to do stuff you you are definitely gonna enjoy it enjoy the results not i yeah i guess with time you can enjoy the process but I, I, at the beginning you, you you're just only gonna enjoy the outcome so i'm trying to understand this year okay I can't believe people have noses like this so with this next time I want to draw a head and I want to make it look cool and stuff I'm gonna remember this guy and just add stuff over there you feel me so that's why it is interesting to study and i like it when it looks this rough it means it looks like it went through a lot of process which it did actually but not that really much though 
Yeah, it's it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. So that's how I do it. Pretty much understanding now. All right, so that's two heads, and I would love to um make this. A white background. All right. All right. Why is it the line? Okay. Here we go. My system is slow. to reduce this take it up now this is gonna take a while all right it didn't take a while so that's two heads you can keep going but I will leave it there for today, alright? Okay. <laughs>